What up guys, it's Eagle again with another in the bag. My bag's changed a little bit, so I thought I'd give you an update. This is before I play Silver Cup and fly over to Finland. This is the bag that I'll be using probably for the rest of the year. I got a new Grip AX15 bag, black. It's looking super sick. I love this bag so much. I've been with Grip from the start and I must say that there are the best bags by far. If you're not carrying a grip, you're doing something wrong. I said in the last one, but I still truly believe that grip makes the best bags by far. They're trusty, they look good, and they're just amazing. The minis I'm using, they're wood minis. Check out um, Mini Pro, mini2pro.com. If you're looking for some sweet custom minis, Check them out. They have all different sorts of wood that they use, like they use cedar and any other type of wood that there may be. Super cool. Okay, I'm gonna get onto the discs. Um, I'm putting with a KP2. I was using D-lines, but in the, middle, the first term of the year, I realized that they are way too soft for my hands. My hands get pretty sweaty. The KP2 takes care of that. It's harder, slicker plastic, but when it gets warm, it feels really nice. If you're looking for a cleaner release, check out a P-Line P2 or a KP, KP2 if you can find them. Really old, beat up D-Line P2, just for the straight to flip up up shots, and turnovers. Um, two S-Line P2s, this one's pretty beat up. It's kind of like my Discmania Nova. I can just put it on any line and it'll hold that. It tracks really nice. Then I got a Ghost Stamp on S-Line P2 for the overstated shots. Moving on to mids, I got Glow Gator, super beat up Glow MD3 that's been in the past in the bags. This thing is super beat up now, so super flippy. It's my favorite MD3 by far. It's perfect for wood situations. Got the big germ stamp, which makes it special. Blue stamp, European Master or European Open MD3. This one's straight to understable. Glow MV3, some dome, this thing's dead straight. And I always like to cycle in a new Glow MV3 for the more overstable shots. This thing's super nice. It's got some weirdo's freaking signature on it. I don't know how this guy did his signature. It's, this guy's a joke. Okay then. <laughs> All right, now. I carry two FDs, a D-line FD for rollers. This thing's so understable. You can throw it out way left, flip right, cut sway right for a roller. It's my favorite disc to roll with. Like when I pull it out, people are like, really? He's throwing that thing on a spike hyzer and it's turning into a roller? A lot of fun to throw. C-line FD that's super beat up. This thing really only comes out for wood shots. I can throw it on a 45, pops up straight maybe drifts right a little bit. It's really good for the low power wood shots that you just need to flip up and ride straight. Uh, two FD3s, they're the second run. Did some art on that. A peach and eagle type thing, wing stamp. And uh, purple, purple with orange. These things, um, they're great. I throw them for a slightly more overstable PDT type shot. For a lot of the lower arm speed, it acts like a Firebird or something like that. But for me, I can just rip on them. They go dead straight and have a consistent finish left. I'll probably throw these up to 475. Super controllable. They're good for an occasional sidearm. It's like a slightly more overstable PD. They're great. Third run PDs, the same ones that have been in my bag for a while. I got from flippy to um, somewhat stable. This one's great for wood shots, flip ups, turnovers. Got a mid stable one that's super straight. Got one that I can throw pretty hard and it'll highs in a little bit. If you if you watched my In The Bag before or know me and know what I throw, you know that the third run PD is probably my favorite disc. It is by far the most controllable, best fairway driver I've ever thrown. Absolutely incredible. If you don't have a third run PD, try to find one. It'll revolutionize your fairway game. 
They feel so good. They look beautiful. I can't go on about them. Stop. All right, enough with that. I guess I have five PD2s in the bag. Got the old trusty C line. This thing is the farthest flying disc I've ever had. This one is so unique. It's a second run. I don't know what happened to it. It's like a destroyer on steroids. It has super glide. I can crush on it super hard. It just rides dead straight, flexes a little bit, and hides. So it's, it's the best feeling C line PD2 I've ever had. Great for sidearms, gets super good distance. If I'm looking to mash one super far, I'm throwing the C line PD2. Take note, that's the only C line at my bag. These four are S line. I got two like older S line runs. They're flat and kind of gummy. The official PD2 of the trees. This is probably my favorite. This one flies identical to like a destroyer. I can throw it flat, ride straight, get a lot of good distance. This one's my most understable one, so I can throw it up high, get some good turn. It's kind of my control PD2. I'll even fan grip it sometimes since it's somewhat understable. I got another one, the unofficial PD2 of the knot trees. This one is just great for long glidey hyzers. My favorite ones. It's the new run of S-Line. Check out dysmaniastore.net and see if you can get a hand run. They're the new S-Line PD2s with the Huck Lab stamp. They're the most overstable run of PD2s I've thrown in a long time. This one, I can throw as hard as I want in any headwind and I can trust that it's gonna come back. It's a little bit flatter than this one. This one I use for just crushes that I know I need to come back. It's pretty domey so it gets some good glide. It's definitely one of my go-tos for long distance shots that I know need to get left. Last but not least, I have two of them. The Metal Flake Max. I can't take them out of my bag, they're super good. Just think of the most overstable disc you've ever thrown and times it by 10. These things are so overstable and a lot of people are like, why do you need that? Why do you need something that overstable? For my game, it's just like, a, it's security for me. Knowing that I can throw something as hard as I want, and I know it's gonna come back left, it's just really nice to know that you have that in your bag. The Metal Flake Max is so important to me that it just, it can't leave my bag right now. I'm hoping that I'll be able to replace it one day, but right now, these things are phenomenal. All right, well, I think that's it. I just wanna thank my sponsors, Dismania, Grip, Dude, Top Card, Throw Colorado, Rickaroons, and Mini Pro. They helped me out. It's just great to know that I have the sport. I can't wait to get back out on the road, and I'll see you out there. Keep on dreaming.